Hi guys, that's Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artisan Educator here and today I have prepared a little bit more complicated design for you. Uh, it is going to be like a kind of uh, design which goes from one tip to another because that's what was requested by you as well and I hope you really enjoy learning this design. Have a wee preview of it in here. perfect summer uh, time uh, nail art and I hope you really uh, really enjoyed it. If you do hit the share button so the other can see it uh, how to recreate those uh, design. Also don't forget to subscribe if you're new in here as there's lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Let's start! This is going to be a little bit more advanced design, uh, so I'm just going to prepare my colors and uh, we will use the gel art paints and some gel polishes as well. Uh, it's going to be quite a lot of mixing of the colors usually for those more advanced uh, designs, so I want some black. And this one is a dual black, so you can use it for a uh, transfer foil, but you can also use it for the, um, uh, for the painting as well. Uh, and I use it for baby boomer, like for a black baby boomer. The white, and we're going to need a decent amount of the white. So one, second one, even a third one. I quite like to do it like all sort of different mix mixtures. Uh, straight away I'm going to create a very light gray, just because I had some leftovers. <laughs> yellow and I need some on its own close to the white and I need some to create a green. So for green we need some blue. And I'm going to do it here and here separate one. So straight away mixing my green just because I've got my uh, spatula dirty lighter one as well. So I've got different shades, like I quite like to mix it this way so I can do it a few different colors. And then I take this as well. So what is great about it that you can create actually any kind of color. Um, just with those five colors you can mix any color. So let's do brown now because we are going to need it. So I want some purple first. And once I've got purple I'm adding a drop of the yellow, so this way I've got some brown color. And depending what shape of the uh, shade of the brown you want, you're adding more yellow or more red, more black. So that's quite a nice shade of brown. And we can start painting. We're going to use the D-liner brush. And first of all, I want to do in the middle, uh, in the middle tip, I want to do the coconut. <laughs> That's what we are going to paint. Uh, so we're starting with the, uh, with the dirty white color. So dirty white is a drop of the yellow. And my white. You can also add the drop of those gray color just so we get a perfect shade. Okay, so I've got my mixture there. And this one I wanted it to be open and then I want the full one on this side. So let's do open half open one in there.
and color that in. As again, like with um, any kind of nail art, the more time we spend on something, the more beautiful it is going to be. Uh, so I'm not going to rush. This, uh, this design is going to be a slightly longer tutorial um, because I want to show you guys that if we spend those extra time, we can, uh, we can paint absolutely amazing stuff. Okay, so this is going to be my needle. Straight away I'm going to do the top coat because I want to do a little bit more of the shading of it. So I've got a drop of the top coat and now going into the darkest grey with the top coat with the drop of the yellow. And now I can start adding some shadows also. into my coconut. So we are kind of creating the design little by little. Drop more of the black and just on the bottom part so it is a little bit darker. with the rest what you've got on the brush outline the entire middle and then using a pure white we are going to outline our coconut don't make it too regular you wanted it to be kind of wiggled a little bit. So this is pure white. We can also paint a broken one on the bottom. So this is just a broken piece and it's darker here. Give it a flash cure. Um, on this side I will put some broken coconut as well. and then give it a flash cure. Here we are going to paint the fill one so I can start using my brown color. Actually, I can mix it more. Let me just mix it more. Okay. 
Okay, so pick up a decent scoop. And then straight away start to giving kind of a coconut texture. So I'm kind of coloring it into the one way. Because coconuts have some hairs in there. And so keep adding those little hairs. You can make the bottom slightly darker, so I have added a drop of the black in there. Even if you leave some um, places lighter, that's absolutely fine. Then let's add some black dots. And then with what I've got left on my brush, I'm adding those here wee bits and pieces. Then go into some white, mix with yellow to create a much lighter color. And keep doing those lines. Try to remember that the coconut is um, a rounded shape, so when I'm painting, I'm kind of twisting my brush to be a little bit rounded. Okay, and you can see it, we start getting nicer and nicer texture. hardly any product on my brush. And then give it a flash cure. Okay, let's go back to this one. So we can start painting those brown parts as well. And again, don't give it a flat color, so I'm mixing lots of different colors in there. We can also give it some black kind of um, detail like so that the white isn't even. That 
that always looks quite nice when we're painting a coconut. And then with no product on your brush, like virtually no product, we are going to add some coconut texture into the white. Darken up this corner. And you can see it by adding those small details, we're changing it. Okay, we can start doing the part outside the bigger one. So I've got almost black. Okay, I don't want to go too even. And then going into the brown. I have added a drop more of the red and have darkened my brown. Now, from this side, because it's a side view, I don't want any um, any shell of the coconut, I want more of it there because it's half open. I'm picking up lots of different shades of brown. and then give it a flash cure. I'm just going to do it the same in here. So this one is opposite way. And then some brown. And you've got more of it on this side. Clean the brush. And using a black mix with gray, we are going to add some detail into the coconut. So I want this part to be sharper.
and then give it a little bit of shadow. Plus some shadow in there. Straight away, uh, I'm going to start painting the um, uh, palm tree. So I'm picking up my green. And on this one, I want the largest part to go there. And now I can start painting the leaves. Look what I'm doing with my brush. I'm using a full size of the brush to do so. And I'm picking up lots of different shades of uh, green which I have created. Touch light, touch hard, touch light and we've got a perfect um, leaf. Give it a wiggle to it so it looks even nicer. The ones which are on the top can be bigger and then the ones on the bottom are much smaller. this is kind of more realistic um, I want to perfect the leaves as well so normally for a quick salon designs I would just leave the leaves the way they are but this one is a more realistic more advanced design so I'm going to work on those leaves a little bit longer because we want to add some shadowing into it as well so I'm using a darker green now uh, by adding a drop more of the blue in there. You can even put a tiniest ever drop of the black. And with this mixture, we are going to um, add some detail into the leaves on the bottom part in there. So they are not flat, so they are not one color. And all those details make a really big difference. Because then our leaves don't look too flat. And I'm making them also a little bit irregular because in a natural nothing is exactly the same. It's a different if we're painting like a cartoons. But if it comes to more realistic designs, you want a little bit of the irregular shapes as well. Okay, pick up white and yellow to have some lighter green. green. <laughs> And then we can do it opposite way and add a couple of the slighter highlights. Okay, just a couple. This, this, you can see the difference in between this leaf and this leaf. So this one feels so flat and so fake. Let's make it more realistic. 
like uh, adding a little bit of detail okay uh, I also so just so this design doesn't feel empty I'm going to paint another relief coming up on this side And again, so it doesn't feel too fake, add some color to it. Okay, give it a flash cure. You guys actually asked me for uh, those kind of jointed in designs, so I'm trying to create that. I need to mix uh, more green. <laughs> And we are going to paint another <coughs> leaf. So this leaf is going to be uh, really behind the coconut. So it can start somewhere here. Most of it is behind and it goes to the top. And you can see it each time I'm picking up, um, once I pick up the lighter color, once I pick up the darker one, kind of all sort of different colors. Okay, then this one is just behind it and here another one. Now black into my green. You can even bend some leaf again. And now I'm perfecting the shapes. Okay, black is finished. So now I can go to the lighter one. So that's yellow and a white and working on the opposite side. You can also see it. I'm kind of prolonging them as well and shaping them better. Okay, so I want also some green particle there. Just like a wee leaf. Ok, 
because otherwise this piece will feel lonely. <laughs> and then some black. And then give it a cure. So this one starts looking already decent. And uh, I need to add those green in here as well. Now let me figure it out because we are doing them so they kind of join together. I think that will be the nicest. So, okay. So this could go in here. And then the fill one is going to go on this side. So what I can do is on this one, I can do a tiny bit of those palm tree here. Just like a one, so it is joining. And then on this one, we've got a small piece of the coconut will be there. And this palm tree is coming this way, so this one needs to come up down the way just so everything goes together. You can see my brush didn't behave because uh, it was too heavy, too much loaded with the paint. And if I don't clean it, I wouldn't be able to paint it nice. So I'll just clean it. And now it bends much nicer, my brush. Uh, also, let me know in the comments uh, if you would like to see more of those uh, fruits. Like, uh, they are kind of advanced because uh, I want to keep it at more realistic but I could prepare different ones for you as well like I don't know we could paint bananas we could paint strawberries we could paint lemons and all sort of different um, pineapple like all sort of different fruits if you would like to see that as well so let me know in the comments and then I will know if if you want to see it and if it's worth to do the video on them for you You can also see it like uh, when we have done some very easy and quick design like um, and now you can compare to those more advanced ones which takes much longer time uh, but they are also much prettier um, okay but i enjoy this type of painting like i think it's so much nicer much much nicer Straight away I can add a little bit more detail, hardly any product on my brush. And you know you could go, I could go and carry on like this for a long, long time. The holes looks very fake, so we need to make them more realistic as well. Then go into the black. Every single dot counts. You can see it. I'm not even picking up the product any more product. Uh, I'm just using what I've got on my brush. And then we wanted a tiny sweet piece of this coconut here, the broken one. 
So this is a continuation of this part. Even such a small piece just to connect everything. And then give it a flash cure to this one. We are actually almost finished, uh, but I want to do something else uh, on this, uh, a little bit of the 3D uh, effect on this design. So we are going to cure it and then apply the top coat and then do some 3D. Okay, so I can top coat this one. We could also add it to shadows. I should add the shadows. <laughs> then it will look even more real. But no, that will take like, you know, all day painting. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of keep it decent and... And just show you the difference in between like quick, quick designs and the designs which take longer time. Also tell me guys, like, actually I'm going to do the shadow on this one. Um, so to do the shadow, we need uh, some top coat and the tiniest ever drop of the black. And then we are painting a shadow. So the closer to the coconut you are, the darker it is. And I'm just blending everything now. So we've got a little shadow and then it looks much better. Okay, top coat is in there. So let's add a couple of the splashes and we are going to use the paint on French gel because there is some coconut milk in there. Some, some droplets of it. And then give it a cure. Top cut over this one. Oh, we should put the shadow there as well. <laughs> and under the palm trees, just like a wee tiny one. <laughs> but I really want to know your feedback, guys. Uh, so I know like how how crazy we can go with the designs. Um, if this is even any interesting for you uh, when we overdone the things and we make it, it like more realistic and time consuming. Uh, okay, so let's do some stuff in here. I just need to clean my brush. and grab more of the white French because this one is quite dirty already. And we are going to add some coconut milk in here.
Okay, so make it wave. And give it a couple of the splashes. That's a decent one. And then give it a flash cube. Okay, because we want the things to be joined together after the flash cure, I can check what I want. And I definitely want a bit of splashing here, but not too much. So the, pla the splash is coming on from the broken coconut. Then I can put a second layer in here so it looks even better. It's kind of more 3D then. Clean my brush. And do tiny ones. And then cure everything and then I can show you the final results of this design. So when we're using the white French gel, I always suggest to cure it uh, about 60 seconds because we use it without of top coat. The in-between flash cures have been just like a few seconds really to freeze the product so it doesn't um, run. I'm using a UV cleanser to clean my mixing palette because we don't need it anymore. And then I can show you the final results. This is actually so nice mixture of the colors as well. Well, let me show you what we have created today. Okay, so the first one is the one on the left. Again, I'm using the tiny bit of the UV cleanser because the paint on French, um, the white gel has a drop of the inhibition layer. Clean it. And let's place it together. Then I've got another one, so that's the right side. They look cool on its own as well, like you could just paint the nails all um, like a summery colors and do it only on the one nail. Uh, I wouldn't do it like a full set uh, of those nails. I would do maybe like this on a client, ring finger, middle finger. And then actually on the other hand, you could do it on the ring finger this and then we pound uh, tree on the other finger. But I think it looks so nice together. Okay, we spent so much time on the painting that we can spend lots of time on placing it together as well. There we are. So the person who asked me for a joined tips, there is another design for you. I hope guys, you I love the shadow on this one. We should do shadow on all of them. 
Um, I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now.